Okay, this is the Autel Autolink AL419. And we're just going to run through a few of the options here on screen. Show you exactly how this vehicle, uh, sorry, this scan tool works. I will say at this stage, the vehicle that we're in right now is running but you do not need to have the vehicle running when doing these tests you can just have the ignition on so this vehicle has no codes unfortunately if we did have any codes in this vehicle, it would just be a simple case of going erase codes, erase trouble codes, are you sure? Yes, DT, DTCs and freeze frame data will be lost, do you wish to continue? Uh, DTCs are diagnostic trouble codes, freeze frame data, basically takes a snapshot of the vehicle, uh, how the systems were performing and how the systems looked at the time of when the diagnostic trouble code occurred. Uh, so in this case we'll just click yes, erasing codes, it'll probably tell us that all codes have been erased, there you go, even though there have been no codes erased. This is live data, you need the engine running for this particular uh, module to work. And it's going to basically tell us what the systems are currently running like within the vehicle. So we're not going to want to record the data. We're just going to want to view the data. And I would view a complete data set. You can choose which things you want to look at, such as RPM, um, O2 sensors, fuel sensors, things like that. And throughout the live data, because the vehicle, the engine is running, you will see these figures probably fluctuating, going up and down. As you can see here, they are moving. what you can do is um, you can't if you say if you have an intermittent problem what you can do is you can actually go about your daily drive and set this on live data set it to record and then if the fault occurs during that recording session you can come back to it play it back and you can find out exactly when the problem occurred and what the, in what state the systems were in which will give your mechanic or even yourself a better idea of where the f intermittent fault is occurring. So we're just scrolling through some of the live data menus here. Come out of that now. This is where you would record the data and then play it back once you're finished. Freeze frame data, I mentioned that earlier. Uh, that is basically a snapshot of the vehicle's systems when a diagnostic trouble code occurs, so you can have a look to see what else was happening in the vehicle. I am um, readiness. This just tells us the state of the systems, so we can do emissions tests. vehicle information unit of measure so there is the Autel AL419 Autolink it's an excellent tool available just by clicking the link directly below this video uh, or you can log on to www.ukprodiagnostics.co.uk